What's up guys, welcome back. Now, we're approaching May in Rhode Island, which means our first good bluefish run of the season is about to move its way up the river. So in this video, I'm gonna go over uh, some things I make sure I have on me and a couple of tips you can use if you'd like to target these fish. So uh, first and foremost, uh, something you should have on you when pretty much whenever you're fishing for striped bass or bluefish, it just makes life easier, but it's a must when you're fishing for toothy bluefish or when you think you Actually, you know what, just, just always have it on you because you never know when you are gonna end up with a bluefish. Uh, and that is a fish gripper. So obviously, you know, we're just gonna use this to grip the fish's jaw. And then we're gonna use the pliers, which are also a must have, to, you know, wiggle the hooks out. Do not do this with your fingers. The fish have a lot of energy, especially when part of the fish is out of the water, it starts thrashing around. You don't want a treble hook stuck in your hand. So make sure you have the gripper and the pliers. Now, this gripper is, in my opinion, better for striped bass because I find it easier to open their jaw when I'm holding them and get this wider thing around there to hold on. Um, but for bluefish, for some reason, they tend to clench their teeth like really hard when you pick them up out of the water. So I find the uh, boga style to be better, the one where you pull back and it's got the thinner things that open up and grab the fish. Um, definitely easier to get around a bluefish jaw when it's clenching its teeth together. Now, when we're targeting bluefish specifically, we are going to want lures that are not made out of wood. Um, they're not totally going to annihilate them, but if I just bought a nice $30 pencil popper, I don't want a bunch of bluefish tooth holes in the thing. Now, when I'm targeting them, you know, tins, poppers, uh, at night, sometimes darters and bottles, and um, pencil poppers. I really like the Tsunami Talking Popper, and as far as the uh, darters and bottles, I like Super Strike because they're also hard plastic, and um, same thing with their poppers. Nice hard plastic lure. They all cast well, but they hold up well to the bluefish's teeth. Now, some people when they target bluefish, they use a steel cable for a leader. You could certainly do that. I don't do that. When I'm targeting striped bass, uh, depending on what I'm throwing, I'm using, you know, if I'm going super light tackle, I might be using a 20, 30 pound leader. And then if I'm jigging, I might be using 60 or higher. Even if I'm just using like a pencil popper or something like that for bluefish, I'm going to be going for 60 pound trialene, especially if they're thicker, like there's a thick school. Um, I've used 40 pound before and it, it just breaks off so easily. And I think that's because, you know, obviously their teeth, but also because you have so many bluefish swimming around that school with their mouths open or just their fins rubbing up against it, and some of them are over 10 pounds, ideally. And uh, it's just easy to, you know, break your line. So I'll go for um, as long a leader as I can get away with casting with as heavy a leader material as I can get away with. Or you can also use steel cable, like I mentioned. And one fifth thing to keep in mind um, that isn't so much, you know, it's a tool, it's more of a piece of advice from my experience. Keep 100% attention on the bluefish while you're handling it. Like, you know, if you're holding it in any way, whatever, out of the water, under the water, uh, don't look to the side of you to talk to your buddy even for two seconds. Keep your eyes on it the entire time. And the reason why I mention this is because two years after I got into fishing, I got into a good bluefish run, and I was holding it by the tail with reviving it in the water, and I happened to look to the side, and suddenly I felt the teeth wrap around my thumb. And I'm not gonna go any further with that story because you can probably guess what happened next. So uh, take my advice on that, learn from my mistake back in the day, and don't let that happen to you. So that's it guys, uh, a couple of pieces of supplies I recommend, and a little bit of advice to help you if you want to go target some bluefish. They're a ton of fun, but uh, they're one of those fish that you really want to play it safe with and pay attention to what you're doing. So um, covered a little bit of information here. If you have any further questions on bluefish or anything to do with striped bass fishing, be sure to comment them down below. I'll be happy to answer in a future video. Subscribe so you don't miss out, and I'll catch you next time.